creamy silky soft tofu that takes about 30 minutes active time to make. If that sounds good to you, keep watching. G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam Sam Kitchen, where I bring to you budget-friendly recipes with sustainability in mind. So, June 2022, unless you've been living under a rock or you're already retired, you got millions, the inflation right now is a point something, and that just means the same $100 bill compared to a year ago can afford 8% less of things. It's tough, it is really tough. When I look at my personal spending, mortgage or rent, that is something that is just not flexible. You just need to pay for it. Your bills and all that, there's not much of a wiggle room. But when it comes to personal budgeting, food to myself is one of the biggest things that I can make an impact on. That's why I've been making all these budget recipes, trying to share my learning, share my personal experience. That is the reason I got this YouTube channel and that is the core value that I want to bring to everyone. So anyway, this week's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make tofu with chickpeas. It's so much quicker and so much simpler compared to the soy tofu that I made a while ago. So that's all from me and let's get cooking. To make out two or three ingredients tofu, depending on how you look at it, we're going to need some chickpeas. I'm using dry chickpeas for the best bang for my buck. Some water and some salt. That literally is it. Super simple ingredients for today's recipe. We'll get these out of the way and get started. I've been bulk buying dried chickpeas for a while now. They last five ever and not about $3 a kilo dry works out to be at least 50% cheaper compared to tin chickpeas. For our tofu today, I'm weighing out 200 grams of dried chickpeas. Cover it with at least double the weight of water or until the chickpeas say, Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. So for four hours minimum, if you are soaking overnight, chuck it in the fridge, especially in summer, as I found out it turning a little sour in room temperature in the past. It's winter here in Australia at the moment, so I left it out soaking during the day so I can also get some nice time lapse. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed these little clips as much as I do. About 8 hours has gone past, and take a look at this. The chickpeas are fully puffed up. You can see it pretty much double in size. Grab a bowl and a colander and we drain the chickpeas out. Buying and storing dry chickpeas also means that we're not generating wasted metal tins with every purchase that we make. It's good for both the wallet and our environment. The chickpea water here has got some excellent nutrition. If you have a few plant babies hanging around, they'll absolutely love it. Definitely don't tip it down the drain. With our soaked chickpeas, next step is to blend it all up. Chuck it into our blender with 200 grams of dry chickpeas. We top it with 500 grams of water. Turn the blender on high and we want to blend it quite fine to get the most out of it. How fine, you may ask? Say so what? I, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm pretty fine. <laughs> Jokes aside, I gave it a couple of minutes and blend until as smooth as it can be. In the true Samsung kitchen fashion, we do not waste no nothing. So I grab my favorite utensil spatula and we scrape the lid squeaky clean. Next, it's time to get our chickpea milk extracted. Grab a pot and a nut milk bag. If you don't have one handy, you can also use a spare pillowcase as a substitute. I still remember when I first started the channel, I did a series of nut milk and I was encouraging you guys to use pillowcases. Look how far I've gone. Wash down the sides of the blender jug so we get everything out. Not wasting is one of the most responsible things one can do as a proper human being. I did blend the chickpeas fairly fine, which means I get more out of it, but it is just a tad harder to filter everything out. With a little bit of elbow grease, separate out our chickpea pulp, and now we have our chickpea milk to work with. Before we move on with the recipe, just want to mention that chickpea pulp is packed with a lot of good nutrition and fiber. You can use it in baking, stir fry, and all sorts of other stuff, so don't throw it out. Let me know if you would like to see a video on how to use nut pulps. That sounds very wrong, but it is what it is. Back to our chickpea milk. Here, I'm adding 10% salt to season. It's about seven grams. 
Once that's all done, move over to the stove and we want to have it on low and gentle heat and bring it up to boil. In the process, our chickpea milk does thicken up quite a bit, so make sure to be attending and stirring consistently. It should go from this, to this, to this, and to this. Or slap on some TikTok sounds. How does this turn into this? Watch out for the bottom of the pot and make sure nothing gets stuck or burnt. In the end, the consistency of the chickpea milk should be something like what you can see on the screen here. Once it's up to boil, turn the heat off and it's time to transfer it out. Grab a rectangular container of your choice, or whatever shape you desire really. There's round, teddy bears, Elsa, body parts. It's your kitchen, your call. As always, scrape clean the saucepan and don't be a moron. Lid on the container and pop open the air vent. Leave it out on the bench to cool down first, or if you are really in a rush, pop it in the fridge for a minimum four hours for it to cool down. Four hours later, grab the container out and voila, that is our tofu done right here. It's firm but bouncy to the touch. I cover the container with a chopping board and the tofu flips right out with no issue whatsoever. The tofu texture is very close to the classic soy silken tofu very smooth and just breaks apart in your mouth. I was craving some Japanese crispy tofu or agedashi that day, so I cut the tofu into 2cm thick strips first, prepped a bowl of tapioca starch and then cut the tofu into bite-sized pieces. Into the bowl and coat the pieces thoroughly. Definitely handle with care here as the tofu pieces can be quite fragile. Into a wide pan and shallow fry the tofu pieces until golden. The starch on the outside protects the tofu from breaking even further and creates a beautifully crispy exterior to complement the soft pillowy tofu. Flip the tofu over when the bottom is turning a golden brown colour. Once all cooked, we get the tofu out and right into a bowl. Top with some of my homemade chilli oil dash of straight soy sauce or you can also dilute it with equal amount of water. Top with some greens to garnish and jazz it up a little bit. And that is all I got for ya. The cost breakdown is as below. 200 grams of chickpeas at $3 a kilo equals to 60 cent. 10 grams of salt at 90 cent a kilo equals to 0.9 cent. This is equivalent of two boxes of silken tofu which costs about two to three dollars at supermarkets each. A homemade chickpea tofu is 30 cents per serve. I'm just going to leave it there for you to think about. All right, and there we have it. We've got our chickpea tofu done right here. The texture is silky and definitely it's closer to a soft tofu kind of texture. So many ways that you can skin this cat. So I just did like a Japanese style kind of crispy tofu. Going to dig in and just let you know how it tastes like. It is really, really soft, just a touch softer than the normal soft tofu or the silky tofu that you can buy. It just works so well with the crispy exterior. So the chickpea tofu is definitely more on the delicate side. When I was trying to handle it, it did kind of want to break apart. So definitely be a little bit more cautious with that. And in terms of the dishes that you can use this on, obviously you can eat it on its own. This would be perfect for a scrambled tofu kind of dish that you just want it to break apart or add to any soup dishes that's like a last minute warmed up but you can still enjoy the really soft and silky texture. It was a really easy but fun recipe to make, only took two ingredients. Given the current crazy price hike of every single thing, I would definitely make this instead of buying tofu from the shops. Alright, so that is all I got for you today. If you would like more budget cooking recipes coming your way, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button down there so more people can benefit from my video to fight against the current crazy inflation. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.